Zahava has just switched jobs to become a Scrum Master, and it got overwhelming very quickly. As I was an accountant, and then I became a Scrum Master, and then I was asking myself, I, I don't even like this job, what is it? I don't understand even what personality I need to have to be a Scrum Master, right? The managers set high and sometimes unrealistic expectations. The role was unclear and there was no guidebook to follow and no one to tell how to be a good Scrum Master. This is when she came to me and we started to work first on building confidence. I didn't even understand when you told me, you told me one time, to be a good Scrum Master, first you need to feel good by yourself. And it's true, you really need to feel confident first in yourself, believe in yourself to be, uh, to perform better, right? So these things I truly understood with, with time and experience. We walked through every step of the role, addressed challenges and built new skills together. And that's what I want to give you in the Agile Audit Podcast. Real-life stories of people working with Agile teams on a daily basis, struggling with common, real-life challenges, and finding solutions that work to achieve success. Hi, my name is Daria Bagina, and I've been an active full-time Scrum Master since 2014. I've helped countless professionals build their skills, boost their confidence, and advance in their careers. If you want to hear what it's like to work with an Agile team from people just like you, get actionable advice and find solutions to the challenges you are facing, be sure to subscribe to the Agile Audit Podcast at scrummastered.com slash podcast. The first episode is coming soon.